When Billy Peek sings, Can a White Boy Play the Blues? He pays homage to his African-American mentors while posing the question, could a kid from South St. Louis really grow up to share the stage with the world's blues greats? The answer is yes. Tower Grove. So that was my home for uh, the first 14 years of my life. Then we moved up between Shoto and Gibson and, and my dad, you know, decided to open up this uh, bar and so we moved and we moved up over the bar. And um, the great thing about that was that it gave me, a, started me out with a proving ground to play my music because my dad played the music there and my mother, she tended the bar there. And we played music in there. I played music with my dad, and I, you know, I was we were playing country music, and um, I was kind of, you know, getting used to playing in front of people and doing my thing. And uh, then uh, about 1955, this uh, there's an ice cream parlor, and I went up to the jukebox, and this friend of mine comes over to me. He says, "Man, play this number here." He says, "You ain't gonna believe this song." So. Back then it was like a nickel, you know. <laughs> I drop a nickel in, I hit this number. Maybelline, can't you be true, you know. It changed my life. Because from that point on, I, I, I thought, man, I didn't know you could play the guitar like that. Drop my coin right into the slot. You got to hear something that's really hot. St. Louis was a leader in this new sound called rock and roll. St. Louis rock was raw and edgy. It had energy. And Billy was at the center of it, learning licks from Ike Turner and Chuck Berry. I always think of Chuck Berry like country music meets rhythm and blues. Like, so for instance, here, here's some of his classic licks. This is like the intro to Johnny Be Good. I think what I play is truly St. Louis music because I think Ike Turner and Chuck Berry created a sound in this town. And there were others. There was Albert King and there was Lil Milton. But Ike and Chuck were, were my guys. I went to Roosevelt High School and in 1956, Ike Turner and the Kings of Rhythm played a prom. I went to the prom and there I see a, a Ike Turner playing this guitar and I'm going, man, now here's another thing you can do with the guitar, you know? And you could always tell when Ike Turner was playing the guitar because, you know, that whammy bar, man. Yeah. 